In this continuation tutorial of the queues feature from MadMapper 3.5, let's approach the queues from another angle. First off, let's delete the second surface we created in the last tutorial for clarity's sake. Now add a new queue by dragging inside the media instead of the surface. And what this does is that instead of storing the values corresponding to the surface like we did in the last tutorial, now we store this specific media's values within this queue. So, if we would make some changes to both the media and the color, and then play this queue, the changes we made to the media revert back to what is stored in the queue, but the new color sticks, because this queue does not have any information stored regarding the color. And now, when I play the first queue from the last tutorial, the color goes back to white, because the color is stored in this queue. So now, what we could do with this is that I can make a variation of this media here, and then dragging it into a new queue. And now we have stored two different variations of this media in these two queues. And in this queue, we have the surface to which this media is currently linked. So now what I can do is to link a new media to the same surface and drag the surface into a new queue and also store the media parameters and then make a variation and store that into a new queue. So now I have two variations of this media which is linked to our output surface through this queue and over here I have two variations of this media which is linked to the same output surface through this queue. 